everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Let's go check out this distress signal now. Now that I've been denied whatever is in that, it's probably just like a bunch of it's probably just a bunch of uh, mods of which I already have a plethora. I could make this way easier on myself and go back down into the valley instead of like, you know, traversing these mountaintops, but here we are, in all our glory. Go, make it go! I love this vehicle so much. Alright, come on out. Let's see this. Let's do this. Oh. Now this is the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hang on. Uh. <laughs> Let's check out this thresher. Why is the... Why is it... Um. Hmm. I don't know. Enable depth of field. Um. Off. There we go. There we go. Oh, why is that up? Go away. And what is it? Hide UI. Look at that. High definition Thresher Maw. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> That's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> Hopefully, if I remember. Oh, my God. Gosh, they've always been such a weird creature. Look at that freaking. Uh -huh. Anyway, um. Let's see. Uh, whoop. Yep. Why didn't that. Mm, I'm having a hard time. Why am I having a hard time? Please don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Don't. Oh, it like predicted me. The shots are predicting me. That's unfair. Usually you can get away with just driving around like a maniac. No, usually you can just get away with driving around like a maniac. What is this? What is this? What is this garbage? <laughs> what is this? Oh no, okay, I'm now I'll have to edit this out, hopefully, if I remember. Frick! Oh, I should have known better. You're supposed to save before you go play with Thresher Maws. I am but a fool. Maybe this time I'll put all of uh, Tally's points into electronics, though. We'll see if that helps. Hey, I did it! I put all my points in. Oh, jeez. I, I hate it. I hate it. Thank you. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I hate this mini game. Whatever it is on console is the best. The console mini game, I can't even remember it now, but I remember liking it. I don't like this one. No, I meant to I meant to just bypass it. Eh. Ha! <gasps> this is it. This is all I get. I mean, yeah, it's a thing that's like, oh, it's really hard to open, but it didn't necessarily mean it's going to give me, like, really high-level high stuff. <sighs> the fusion explosive grenade upgrade. Let's see. Granaten. Let's see. Okay. Doesn't hurt. Do I? Oh, freaking, I do have medium armor for her, but I, I, she's not even close to being able to use it. Hurt. Why am I, I'm such a moron. I wish, I hope I edit that out. I hope I edit that out, feature me. Ha ha. <laughs> so now you're not so much of a moron. Corey and Turi and they look the same. And I'm freaking, I don't read. <laughs> My name's Jared and I never learned how to read, okay? Uh, I 
gosh. Anyway, I hope I edit, I edit out that pause too. I just uploaded the uh, video, or the other video, the post today. Or, yeah, today at time of recording, um, saying that a video probably won't come out today. <laughs> uh, yesterday, I guess? I don't know. Whatever day it was compared to this one. Um. So, I was gonna say too earlier, it gets to the point, right, where you played this game enough times and you know you're like oh yeah this mission has this right even like side quests and stuff so i do know for sure that at least at least one distress signal is a thresher maw and one distress signal is actually a trap set by get um but also when you're just wandering around you get you get a you get, you get a you get a, a sixth sense for thresher maw zones if there's an unusually flat area amidst hills or mountains or whatever uh i don't know you just kind of drive up on them sometimes they're not always like you know there's not there's not always something in the middle of it you know saying hey there's a thing here come over here you know it's um you just kind of it just like your, your your brain you get you get that tingly feeling and you're like mm. <laughs> i sense a thresher maw Freaking. Usually you can drive in circles around them, and it's and it's all good. Ooh, you can't get too close because they'll hit you. Where are you gonna go? Okay. Also, before in the original version, I swear they didn't have the. Oh my gosh, it is predicting me! It's predicting me, that's really unfair. Oh, no, 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 no! If they get up underneath you, it's like a one-shot kill. Um... Oh, ho, take that. Uh, oh, what? These tentacles are new? That's new. Oh, no, 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 no! No! Oh, no, no, no! Oh, this is gonna be <laughs> You know, maybe I actually do this with a sniper rifle from afar. <laughs> maybe I just sniper this. <laughs> Alright, first we gotta trigger it. Anyway, I, they used to not have the, the little, like, dirt clods that pop up. I swear that wasn't in the original. I think that's new. Because before you just had to drive and not hold still and hope the Thresher mod didn't come up underneath you. Come on, okay. Let's get very far away. Ow. I'm just gonna do it again. Okay. Yeah. Oh, those prediction shots. Okay. No, stay away. I don't know where you are, but stay away. I think I did. I go out of its range. I think I did. Oh no. too far. Oh, can I move while I'm... Oh. Is that... I feel like that's new. I mean, I know that's new. I, th I feel like I saw that somewhere, rather. That you could do that. 
don't, you don't get to repair. Terrifying, cool. Let me out. Oh, can't get out while it's repairing. And anyway, it's dope that they let you that they let you repair while moving now. <laughs> Alliance soldiers, looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. This actually is part looks of. Like these men were yeah. Yeah, these are the. It, it syncs up with Admiral Kahoku's uh, mission, essentially. Which does have fairly far reaching consequences. Map. Anomaly. Usually there's not two thresh removals on a planet. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I think there's usually only one thresher mod on a planet, but let's see, we've probably got the codex. The Ooh. citadel. Nope. After the thresher, thresher mods, mods are subterranean carnivores that spend their entire lives eating <laughs> or searching for something to eat. <laughs> that picture. Threshers reproduce via spores that can lie dormant for millennia, yet are robust enough to survive prolonged periods in deep space and atmospheric re-entry. As a result, Thresher spores appear on many worlds, spread by previous generations of space travelers. This is the, this is why the we have those boat thresher inspections. Never entirely leaves the ground. Only the head and tentacles erupt from the earth to attack. In addition to physical attacks, threshers have the ability to project toxic chemicals and emit bursts of infrasound as a shockwave weapon. If you get too close. The alliance first encountered threshers on the colony of Akuz in 2177. After contact was lost with the Pioneer team, Marine units were deployed to investigate. The shore parties were set upon by hungry threshers, and nearly the entire assault force was killed. Alliance forces recommend engaging threshers with vehicle-mounted heavy weapons. Oh, I can't remember which, exactly the name of the background, but that is a background you can pick. Oh, Soul Survivor. That's what, that mod. makes sense, right? It's the Soul Survivor background. Yeah, they're like the only survivor of the coups. A Thresher Maw attack. Anyway, the Thresher Maws are scary, and they freaking are like spores. They spread like fungi. <laughs> they can survive space, and that's really unfair. And also, that's why we do boat inspections, kids. So that like freaking little tiny barnacles and creatures and snails that are invasive don't get into the other like water sources, you know, they try, so, they, so they try to control that, the environmental impacts of, uh, like, not parasites, what do you call it? Ooh, is this a solarian? Oh. Oh, look. Look at that. A mummified solarian. ID. We found Captain Milan's identification tag. How it ended up here is impossible to know for sure. Freaking, is that the... 
Is that the one tag like that? That is sometimes like the signs of battle. There are a league of one medallions and a few ID tags scattered throughout the systems. Yeah, that's one of the three ID tags. And Captain Milan was like the leader of the like. Where does it say it? In the. In the do they do? The like stories or whatever of the League of One. The Citadel. No, shh. Maybe not. The League of One was it was an advance. It should say it somewhere, but I don't remember where it says it. But they're um like an, they were they were an elite squad of Solarian like infiltrators and like vanguard type. Something went wrong, and like they went rogue or something, and they ended up, or like they were accused of going rogue, and they ended up scattering to the winds, you know. Um, but we can find the remnants of their story through the the tags and medallions, yeah. Um, and the, oh, the protein data disk. That's another. That's another collectathon. I love the collectathons. There's that. Do we have? We don't have. There's like Asari ones and a Turian one. There's Asari, Solarian, Turian, plus the minerals, plus the Prothean disc. Those are all just collectathons that you scan and find. But. I wish we could bury him. Like, that would be nice. This is probably just rock anyway, really. All right, I don't generally just wander around looking for minerals. If I find them on my path, great. If not, I'm not gonna worry about it. So, let's go back to the Normandy. What? Oh, for some reason it looked weird for a second. I was like, what the heck? Let's see. So, we do need to go part of the... Is it? So we technically completed that one mission, and I don't know if it counts. Does it count as completed? No, unusual readings. We do need to go. Oh, we haven't done that. That's right. That's right. That's not part of the unusual readings one. Okay, my bad. We are still in the Sparta system. We haven't even gone to Argos Row yet. It's fine. I can keep track of things. I know where I am at all times. Altaya. It's an unusually large terrestrial world with trace atmosphere of methane and ammonia. Like, you have to look this stuff up and, like, find out what atmospheres, like, extrasolar planets are, you know? And, like, what they look like and what they're made of, kind of. You know? Or, like, at least at the time, what our, what our information, what our data said they did, you know? Or, like, combining them for fun and, like, being like, oh, <coughs> here's what will be, like, making up a planet with, like, realistic, you know, background information. Surface is frozen, mainly composed of sandstone and other sedimentary rocks. It appears that a tie once possessed an atmosphere enough, thick enough to support some form of liquid. What cataclysm stripped the atmosphere and left the planet to freeze is currently not known. And this is the thing. Hidden throughout all of these are little hints of, like, the cataclysmic, like, galactic cataclysm is that uh, yeah i'm using that right i think that happened involving the reapers right that like they destroyed like there's still there's scars left on so many of the planets across the galaxy you know so you find little tidbits hidden throughout and there's like archaeological ones too that you can find that are really interesting and i like it a lot there's a lot of little little details hidden in these It'd be cool if we could land, at land, air quotes, on a gas giant. Mm, traces of chlorine and sulfur. It's massive gravity well tugs many asteroids from the outer belt inward. Orbit is congested with hundreds of captured moons, mostly in the last few thousand years before being ejected, dragged down in the atmosphere, ripped apart by tidal forces, and added to the gas giants in its rings. Attempting to navigate this chaotic environment is hazardous, hazardous at best. Ships without military grade connected barriers are likely to suffer catastrophic impacts. Survey! Also, there's this. <laughs> Look on the planets. Sometimes you get to, like, not just, um, 
land on them, but you can survey them for goodies. And you always gotta check the asteroid belts. They have secrets. Alciagis. Small terrestrial, trace atmosphere of methane and argon. During the Alliance's Pirate Suppression Campaign in the 2160s, the Batarian Elam Ranpara was caught with his frigate Tuneron, grounded on Alsagis for a drive discharge. When challenged by the cruiser, cruiser Hi Hyderabad, Hyderabad, Ranpara refused to surrender. The Tuneron was destroyed to meet the takeoff. The debris is strewn across the southern hemisphere. Rare element. Nice. We detected a small deposit of plutonium. Alright. That's the Sparta system. Onwards to Macedon. Sometimes you come back, like, right, like, you get, there are other missions that we'll get that'll have us come back, but I like to try to get the minerals and stuff. Shaira, haha. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Shargilla has a very dense atmosphere, ammonia, and oxygen. Its temperature, temperate surface is mainly composed of alumina. With deposits of sulfur and nasty convoys in the system have recently logged a number of unregistered vessels operating nearby. Oh ho! Shargila has an extensive silicon base, oxygen breathing ecology, heavily populated areas are covered with fine silica dust, the respiratory byproduct of the world's higher animal forms. High speed surface winds, often laden with abrasive silica dust, presents a hazard. EVAs, what is that like? That's like extra. Uh, external vehicle. Being outside. <laughs> EVA. <laughs> you don't want to go outside, even in a suit. Put it in can be treacherous. Land. Take in the squad. Who is it? Somebody in the comments said it was like two two vanguards and electric and an electrician walk into a bar. Uh, I was like, but for my current squad, I was like, yeah. Oh my gosh, there's some there's some dead grass on the ground. That's amazing. Oh, hello. What, what's stronghold? What debris? Wait, let's check. Wood. Okay. Okay, fine. Oh, let's see. Armor piercing, damage versus organics. Shield bypass. This is my shotgun. Uh, let's do that. For, I think we're gonna. Be, if we fight anybody, we'll be fighting organic. Let's do basic, sure, on the pistol. See how that goes. Shotgun. He should be fine. Tally. I mean, we maybe I'll give her something. She would have armor piercing rounds. High caliber barrel. It's not super great for a shotgun. I wish you can already only get like two or three shots out of it. Sure. Well, no. She's not really using the shotgun much, so I don't wanna. Heat sink. You don't get super high level heat sinks either. They go up to like level three or something, and then that's it. That's all you get. Sniper rifle, well, sure, since I apparently use sniper rifles sometimes. The accuracy, is, I don't know if they even need that anymore, really. Stability, sure. Like, with the fact that, like, you don't really have to worry about your weapon wobbling around anymore. Oh, let's check. That's fine. Also fine. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow, 
look how much money I have. <laughs> oh my gosh, I only had a grenade. I only have one grenade left. Jeez. Do I let those fill up when I go back to the ship or what? Maybe not, maybe not on insanity because we enjoy pain and suffering. Let's at least get to the debris. Also, I guess for people who don't know, the hazard thing means if you... Well, you'll see when I get... You'll see when I get to the debris what it means. Yeah, that didn't work as well as I wanted to. Why is it the freaking Mako's acting like it's front heavy now? It used to not, and I really love that, because you could just, like, heat yourself out into space, and it was great. But now it's acting all front heavy. So the level one hazard means that if you're walking around out here and the little bar gets up high enough, you'll start losing health. Because <laughs> uh, it's a hazardous place to be with all this silica wind. Uh. Uh. We'll just zigzag over to that anomaly, and then we, which shouldn't be a thresher mark, it's on a slope, and then we'll go over to this stronghold, whatever it is. Why am I here? I don't, I just, if, if a plan tells me I can land, I land. <laughs> Oh, there was unusual activity, right? I can't. I, I think I remember what that quest was, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm gonna call this one here before it gets to be too long. Thank you all so much for joining me on the exploratory episodes that things seem to be happening. I don't know. Things aren't happening quite as fast as I thought they would. It takes me a while, apparently, <laughs> to explore, but Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I do I do enjoy these parts. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. And I hope to see you in the next one. A real quick addendum at the end of the video. I did happily get a couple of new patrons. Is, is patrons for your Patreon? Um, but yes, and they signed up on the sapling tier, which gets you an individual shout out. Uh, at the end of the video, plus the name written at the end of the video, which the art is kindly been done by a good friend of mine, Naprezu. Um, but yes, so the very first patron of my Patreon was Scalamonger, if I'm saying that correctly. Thank you so much. You also had a really kind message, a couple of kind messages, and I really appreciate it. It's very nice, <laughs> and so thank you so much for that. And then also, the next patron, my second pa patron, patron, my second patron is Reese Galito. So thank you both so much. <laughs> and also thank you so much to Christopher, who at the last minute, and I'm still editing, so I was able to throw it in, subscribed at the tier three. I'm, I'm using it like it's Twitch terms, but um, at the $10 tier, the tree tier, I guess is what we call it, is what we've been calling it. Um, but yes, thank you so much for your generosity. Truly, it's just, it's blown me away. So thank you guys so much. And again, thank you, Scalamonger, Rescalito, and Christopher. <laughs> like, I've been smiling like an idiot all day. I really appreciate it. Every little bit legitimately helps. And I'm really glad that you guys enjoy the videos so much enough to hand me some dollars. Like, that's, that is just... It's been blowing my mind all day. So uh, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. This update will only be live on this next video coming up. I think it's episode 19. Because I've already edited most of the videos for coming out for the next month. So I can't redo all of them because I have to leave tomorrow. Anyway, the timing is just really bad. So I do apologize, but I'll get this in for the next video coming up. And then at that point, it'll be able to be regular again, I think, on episode 29. So 10 away from here. I do apologize for that. But once again, thank you so much. And, and it will be more regular uh, once, once I can catch back up to the editing. You know what I mean? 
So, if that makes any sense. But yes, thank you both so very much. I appreciate it. And I hope everybody watching this has an excellent day.